Hi, I'm Larissa Reid and welcome to another episode of Gaimia TV. I'm here at the Gaimia Tradies with Jodie Wells Slowgrove from the Writers Unleashed Festival. So, thank you for joining me today. Thank you, Larissa. It's a pleasure to be here. So, can you tell me a little bit about the festival and what we are to expect from it? This is our fifth festival. We started back in 2009. Mm -hmm. um, back then we were the Southern Shire Writers Festival. This year we've renamed and rebranded our festival Writers Unleashed. It's coming up very soon, in about two weeks at the Tradies. Mm -hmm. Most of it will be held. And it's a three day extravaganza of author talks and book sales and signings and book launches. Uh, the first two days will be here at the Tradies Fair and they're for anybody who like to come along. Um, probably high school and adults, uh, not so much children. Yeah. Um, tickets need to be bought for that off our website and that ends on Friday the 8th. Um, so for that festival, that's a fully catered two-day festival. You can buy tickets to just one day though, if mm -hmm. you like. We have 15 sessions each day running across three rooms. Um, two of those rooms will be for um, authors speaking about the craft of writing mm -hmm. and one of them will be about the business of writing. Um, the third day of the festival will be the one just for children and so that's going to be held at Grays Point Public School and that one's already booked out. We've got over 600 students wow, coming to great. that one. So who are some of the more prominent authors who are attending this event? Oh, we are really excited this year. We've got some fantastic speakers from both the book world and the media world. Probably one of our most famous coming this year is the comedian, Tim Ferguson, uh -huh. who's going to be doing a two-hour comedy masterclass uh -huh. based on his book, The Cheeky Monkey, uh -huh. which is well known in Australia as being like the Bible for writing comedy. Right. So if anybody's interested in writing comedy, that's a really good one to come to. We also have internationally best-selling author Kate Forsyth, mm. who's a fantasy writer for both adults and children, mm -hmm. and she'll be doing two speeches talks this year, uh, one on reimagining fairy tales and one on social media and blogging. Um, and probably another really exciting one this year would be the Queen of Prime herself, Gabrielle Lord, is going to be coming and speaking. Oh, and we're really happy to have her back because she was one of the featured speakers at our very first festival back in 2009. So some really good. Is it possible to see just uh, individual authors, or you know, you need to buy? Tickets? They are day tickets, right. so, um, so you can day. just come for one day or mm -hmm. another day, but you can't just come for one session. Yeah. They are day tickets. Okay. Thanks. So, are there any highlights that you're particularly looking forward to? Oh, there is one huge one that we are so excited about. It's been a massive coup and we've managed to get Matthew Riley to the festival. Matthew's an international best-selling author. He's had his books made into movies mm -hmm. and his latest book is coming out just four days before the festival. And because we were lucky enough to get, get him, we're having an evening with Matthew Riley on the Saturday night, oh, which will be a separate event. Yep. So you can just buy tickets just to that mm -hmm. if you like. It's only $50 yep. and included in the ticket price is a copy of Matthew's new book, The Tournament. Wow. So you get to hear Matthew talk, you can have your book signed personally by Matthew after his talk. So that should be a really exciting part of the festival. Okay, thank you. So what makes this festival different to all the other writers' festivals across Australia? Well, for readers, I think one of the great parts about this festival is that for every single presenter, author or illustrator, we have book signing. Mm -hmm. I know when I go to a festival, probably the most disappointing thing about it is often I'll go to see my favourite author and I'll take, you know, that well-worn, well-read book, mm -hmm. you know, that I just love. And you go to hear them speak and that's wonderful, but then they don't have a book signing. And I think everybody likes to have that one little moment where you can connect yeah. with an author yeah, sure. and just, you know, maybe ask that little question you were too shy to ask in front mm -hmm. of the whole group yeah. during the speech. So I think for readers, that's a really big draw card mm. is that we have a book signing with everyone. Yeah. And we have book sales for um, everyone yeah. as well. We'll have a bookshop. Yeah, and for writers, uh, really, that's who this festival is for. Yeah. We're all about supporting aspiring writers and also um, helping people who may already be published but aren't so good maybe at the other side of the promoting part of yeah. yourself as well. So that's why this year we have one room completely dedicated just to that promotion side and how to find an agent, what publishers are yeah. looking for. If you're interested in making your book an app 
mm-hmm. or how to do a book trailer. Yeah. We have so much for writers. Um, as well as probably one of the most popular parts of the festival is our one-on-one publishing consultations where people can book in to have a half hour with an editor from Penguin or Random House, Pan McMillan, Simon and & Schuster and they just get that time to talk through them. They, take, they send part of their book beforehand yeah. and they can get that valuable feedback that you never get to when you just get a rejection letter. Yeah, that's amazing. So yeah, it's a really great festival for writers great. as well. So what's the driving force behind the festival? I think, well, being organised by a local writers group, we are the local branch of the Fellowship of Australian Writers. So we've got quite a couple of aims. One of them is just about promoting Australian books and authors to a wider audience, both in the Shire and outside the Shire. But also we want to encourage people on that writing journey, help aspiring writers to, you know, move the next step, get closer and closer to that publisher saying, yes, you're the new talent, this is what we want. Yeah. So that's one of our huge driving forces. But we also want to promote the Shire itself, promote wonderful venues like the Tradies and let people know that we're a cultural centre. Mm-hmm. We're not just a great footy team yeah. and a place where you can do bushwalking or go to the beach. Yeah. There's more to the Shire than just that. Oh, that's, that's very good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So who should come and how do they get tickets? Anyone can come, anyone who loves books, who loves reading, who maybe has a story inside themselves and they've never been sure whether or not they had the talent or whether they could actually do it, this is the chance to come and find out. So, um, yeah, anyone from sort of 13 years and up could come along. We've had 12 year olds come in previous years who've really enjoyed it. We've had, we have retirees who come and want to write their memoirs, you know, so it's really quite an open for anybody who'd like to come. Okay. And tickets? Tickets are on sale at our website, which is www.shirewritersfestival.weebly.com. And that's got all the speakers listed on the website. It's got the full program so you can see what's happening. And you can get the tickets directly from there as well. Great. By yeah. Friday. By though. Friday. So Matthew Riley, tickets will be selling a little bit longer, but because the festival is going to be fully catered this mm-hmm. year, we really need to let the traders know our numbers. So Friday the 8th. Great. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for having uh, me. It sounds like an amazing event. It's going to be wonderful. Thanks. Thanks.